Hello, and welcome to Philip Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called ISA Firewall. We are looking at the network of the philipbrown.uf network. There are three sections that are all connected together through the ISIS server. The ISIS server is a firewall whose main job is to protect our LAN network. This LAN network is where we have most of our computers, printers, routers, switches, and other network devices. We want to protect it from malicious hackers from another zone known as the Internet. In order to help us protect our LAN, we have a third zone known as the DMZ or demilitarized zone. The job of the DMZ is to be an in-between between the LAN network and the Internet network. The ISA server blocks packets that it considers to be harmful so that it is unable to enter our local LAN. In the next video, we're going to set up and configure the ISA server. Okay. Let's get ready to install the program. Here we are on the server ISA. The very first thing we want to do before we install this program is to verify that our network adapters are correctly set up. Let's go to the control panel and take a look at the network connections to verify that the network adapters are set up correctly. Here we have one called the WAN, another one called the LAN, and the other one called the DMZ. Let's take a look at the LAN first. Notice I have the protocols still checked up here. And here we have the IP address. Notice there's no default gateway. We don't want any packets that are not part of our network going into here. But we do have the DNS server set for our local DNS server and not the external one. Now let's take a look at the WAN. Notice that the protocols are unchecked. It would be a bad idea to have these protocols running on an interface that's directly connecting the internet. And when we look at the IP addresses, notice that we have the default gateway pointing to the router on the internet. This should be the only default gateway in our system. Now let's take a look at the DMZ. Notice that we disabled the protocols on these ones also. There's no need for us to have the protocols there. Also notice that we do not have a default gateway or DNS server pointing to the DMZ. This is part of a best practice. Okay, now that the interfaces are looking good, we can prepare to install the program. Okay, we see this choice here. Install ISA Server 2006 Service Pack 1. Okay, I'll accept the license agreement. I want to install both the ISA server services and I also want the configuration storage server. So I'll choose the third option. I'll choose to create a new ISA server enterprise from scratch. I'll define my internal network. I'll make it the range of anything inside of the 10 dot network. I could choose one of these network adapters, 
but I want to include the entire range of 10 dot network IP addresses. There, everything in a 10 dot zero network has been included. Notice I'm not going to include the DMZ as part of my internal network. I'm not going to be using the firewall client, so this will not make any difference. This just simply says that some of the services will not work after we install the firewall. That's fine. This is to let us know that the ISA server can only be managed from the IP address that I'm currently installing the services onto it. Okay, the program is installing. This part usually take a while, so I'll speed up the video for you. In this video, we looked at the basic concept and installation of the ISA server. In the next video, we will take a look at how to configure the basic firewall features of the ISA server. I hope this video has been informative and I thank you for viewing.